Artsy Studios here today, and today I'm here with a TLC doll. I found this doll and I thought it would be fun to fix her up. She was only around $35, so it was a pretty good deal. Um, her hair is a bit crazy, but she is just like you, number 26, and I plan to fix her up. Um, it may be a bit difficult to tame her hair, but overall I don't think this will be absolutely positively difficult. But wait, before you watch the rest of this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And please check out my latest and newest Instagram. The links will be down in the description box below. So yes, let's get into the fixing of the doll. First, I'm just going to take the doll and try to brush out her hair the best that I can. Um, so I have an, um, a spray bottle and an American Girl wire wig brush. Before we get any farther into the hair fixing, let me just show you guys all of the imperfections in her body. Um, her limbs are overall just a bit dirty, nothing really major, a few marks and some hairs and just lots of dirt and grime. Um, her tag was cut off and her strings are cut off so I don't know how bad this will be for her legs and her face just has lots of stains and overall just dirt and stuff on it and you've obviously already seen how bad her hair is. So that's basically every, all of the imperfections. The doll is basically in very nice condition except for the dirt on her limbs and her hair. I don't think this will be a terrible fix. The hair is just very brutal. Okay, so it's the next day. The lighting is a lot better because I'm not filming at night anymore. Sorry about that. But I brushed through her hair to get some of the tangles out. It lays a bit flatter, but it's just super frizzy still. Okay, so now we are just going to wash the doll's hair. I have this thrifty shampoo and conditioner, and I'm just gonna clean out her hair and get it as untangled as I possibly can. So first we're just going to rinse the doll's hair with water. If you can, try not to get the water on her scalp or her wig because um, the glue may come loose, I've heard, but I'm not sure if that's a proven fact. So I'm rinsing out her hair and making sure it's wet. And then I'm gonna put in the shampoo and conditioner. First the shampoo and just rub it into her hair and make it nice and soapy and just try to get the dirt out. So I let her hair sit with the shampoo in it for a few minutes just so that I can soak in all the soap. And now I'm just rinsing it out with some warm water. So now I'm just gonna put in the conditioner which will hopefully defrizz her hair and make it less, well, big. That would be the simple way to put it. And then I'll let it sit in her hair a few minutes just so that the hair can soak it in and become less dry. going to wash out the conditioner and you see that her eyes are covered by the towel that is something smart that you might want to do if you fix up a doll cover her eyes so that the water doesn't get in them and they rust so I should have been doing this but I wasn't but now I am so be sure to cover your doll's eyes with a towel whenever water is near her head all right I just finished washing her hair so right now it's just drying and then we will brush it out to see if it has gotten any less tangled or any better so I'm just gonna take her hair out of the towel and start brushing. Um, it was still very hard to brush, so I didn't think I could manage to keep the curls in her hair. So you'll see next that I have to handle this with the hair straightener. First, before you straighten your doll's hair, be sure to ask your parents permission because you will not be able to change her hair back after doing this. And caution because you will be using a hair straightener which is also hot but to do this you will just brush out your doll's hair and make it nice and straight and put a ton of water on it so that it doesn't burn you are going to then put the hair straightener on the section of hair you will hear it sizzling but that is not in fact the doll's hair that is burning it is the water that you put on so you just want to keep putting on water so that the hair does not burn and straighten it out it's a very long process but it is definitely worth it for the really adorable outcome. If you want better, more in-depth instructions, I recommend looking up a separate video on how to straighten your doll's hair on YouTube. Here the doll is 
after I finished her first section of hair. It is already looking really adorable and so much better than it did, especially if you look at the back. And now I've done almost half of her hair and it is looking super great, but then you still have half of her head that is full of poof. So we're getting there. And now we're almost done. She just has a little bit on the top of her head, but otherwise her hair is completely straight. It's been a while, but I finally finished straightening her hair and she looks super fabulous already. Now we need to clean her skin. It's still quite dirty. Now we're just gonna take our magic eraser and a spray bottle and we're gonna clean off her skin. So I'm done cleaning her skin and you can tell how incredibly dirty the rag is. She had a ton of dirt on her skin. And then I attempted to use nail polish remember to remove some of her marks, but do not do this because it may burn your doll's skin or melt it a little bit, especially if you use acetone. I just want you guys to know so that you don't do what I did and mess up your doll. So do not use nail polish remover. Last but not least, I'm just going to be trimming the doll's hair just so that I get some of the very frizzy ends that are just way off out of the picture. But yeah, it's pretty much the final step and otherwise she is done. Now to dress her. And here she is. She is totally adorable. And I think that the outfit really suits her. I made the outfit homemade. It is just a felt top with a skirt and a little felt bow. So guys, that's the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed me fixing up this amazing little doll. Just a disclaimer, I did change her hair furtherly. So if you would like to see the final, final product, you can check on my AG Artsy Studios Instagram, which will be in the description box below. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, AG Earthy Studios, and it would be amazing if you guys could get us to 100 subscribers by the end of the year. I am so happy for all of my subscribers now, but let's get those goals going. So guys, thanks for watching. Bye!